Hi, Collegiate. Welcome to another wonderful week here at GLASW. This is Ms. J. Williams. I am your leadership development teacher. So we're going to get into this lesson for this week. But before we do that, we are going to look at our affirmation. All right. So our affirmation is, we'll say it together on three. Affirmation on three. One, two, three. I am a great visionary. I am a thoughtful person who strives to inspire others with my words. I am always generous with praise and compliments. I am an inspiration to others because when I shine, you shine. And when you shine, we all shine. So this week, our lesson will be on self-esteem, high versus low. All right. Our objective for this lesson is I can identify positive traits about myself. So we're going to look into the two types of self-esteem, one being high and one being low. So self-esteem is a confidence and satisfaction of oneself. So basically that means how do you feel about yourself? Do you feel good about yourself? Do you feel great about yourself? I would hope so. Do you feel mm, about yourself? Eh. Or do you feel bad about yourself? Those are not the traits that we want to exhibit as a leader. So we want to go into the each of them and we want to start with the low self-esteem. So low self-esteem means you don't feel very good about yourself. And so a lot of people um, who have low self-esteem, you know, they feel bad about themselves. And these are some of the things that we're going to talk about um, scholars who have low self-esteem. So scholars with low self-esteem don't think they are as good as others. They think that other scholars are better than them. They think that other scholars may be smarter than them. They think that um, other scholars could be, could dress better than them or look better than them. Um, but that is not the kind of attitude because we are all wonderful and we are all wonderfully made. Now, the next thing scholars with low self-esteem think is they don't feel liked or accepted. They think that people don't like them. They think that people don't accept them. They think that people don't want to be friends with them or don't want to be around them. So that's another trait of um, having low self-esteem. Another um, thing about low self-esteem is scholars think more about the time they fail than the time that they do well. So it may be a time where you may have gotten a, a bad grade on the quiz or on an assignment and you focus more on that than about all the times that you may have gotten a good grade um, on an assignment. So let's try to focus on the good things and not just hone in on the bad things and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Now we are going to talk about high self-esteem. High self-esteem means you feel great about yourself. And scholars with high self-esteem, they have the confidence to try new things. They're not afraid to fail. They are always um, willing to go out there, put themselves on the line and just try it. And no matter how what the outcome may be, scholars are more likely to try their best. They are always willing to try their best and that comes along with the confidence from the last point. When you have confidence, you're more likely to try your best and do the best that you can because that's, that's all you can bring, bring forth. But having high self-esteem will give you the ability and the drive to do that. The third thing is scholars with high self-esteem, they feel proud of what they can do. You may be very good at writing. You may be very good at reading. You may be very good at right math, but you feel proud of that trait that you have and those things that you can do well. And that is a good trait to have, having high self-esteem. The next thing that um, about high self-esteem, scholars with high self-esteem feel good about themselves, even when you don't do well the first time. And that is one of our jewels of the month, resiliency. Even if you don't do well, like I said earlier, if you get a bad grade on that quiz or you get um, a not so um, good grade on that assignment, then you want to bounce back. That's what resiliency means. Bounce back, be tenacious, 
try again and keep trying to achieve your goal. When you have high self-esteem, you want to keep going until you get it done your best. You won't give up. Also, scholars with high self-esteem make good choices. So we want to have integrity. Integrity means what? If you said doing the right thing, no matter who is looking, you are absolutely right. Making good choices because it's the right thing to do, not because you want to be seen. All right? So the difference um, between high self-esteem and low self-esteem, high self-esteem is feeling very good about yourself and being confident about yourself. And low self-esteem is feeling bad about yourself and not feeling highly of yourself at all. So for the assignment for this week, I want you to really dig deep and look inside yourself. And we'll explain this, I'll explain this on the next slide. 100 things I like about myself. Now, you may say, 100, oh, that's, no, it is very possible and it can be done. So I have a chart behind me right now and I have some things. Um, it says, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am virtuous, I am a loyal friend, I am a great writer, I am tenacious, I am a great writer, I wrote that twice, <laughs> and I have beautiful brown eyes. So those are things that you may like about yourself. So for those who are saying that they can't think about a hundred things to think that you like about yourself, I put an example right here. So let's say you say, I love my eyes. Well, what about your eyes? Do you love the color of your eyes? Do you love the shape of your eyes? Do you love the size of your eyes? So that's just one thing. Your eyes can be broken down into multiple things. If I was to use this and I would say, I, would, I love that I have brown eyes. I love that my eyes are chinky. I, I love that my eyes are small. So those are things that you can say where you can break it down. If you talk about your hair, what do you love about your hair? Do you love the limb? Do you love the texture? You know, do you love the color? So those are things that you could talk about just to make this spread out to be more than a hundred um, things. It is doable. It is quite, quite doable. You want to have to look inside yourself and you want to have to deep, look deep down inside yourself, pull out all that greatness out of yourself. And that is the purpose of this activity. Ashe? So just as a recap, we talked about um, our self-esteem. We talked about having low self-esteem. We talked about having high self-esteem and the importance of having high and low self-esteem. Looking inside yourself to pull out your greatness, to think about the things about yourself that is absolutely wonderful. You can do it, it's doable. So I am looking forward to seeing what 100 things that you're going to think about that you love about yourself. Ashe? All right. Thank you, and you have a great day.